I'm an architect and a planner. The idea with the Living Building Challenge is one where we're not trying to make the world a less bad version of what we have. We're trying to make the world into the kind of place that it should be, used to be, and we deserve it to be. Uh, a world that is safe for our children, our grandchildren, safe for all species, um, and that learns from the, you know, the beautiful creation that we have around us that is as elegant as nature's designs. Um, uses resources in a way that nature uses resources. Doesn't see waste as something that you know causes harm, but in fact is nutrients for for life. Um, and that's why we you know call this living buildings because we want to become. We're creating habitat as humans should be creating habitat and used to create habitat. We shouldn't be using fossil fuels anymore. Mm -hmm. So these buildings need to generate all their energy from the sun and wind. We shouldn't mm -hmm. be building buildings that give us cancer, cause mm -hmm. birth defects, leave legacies for hundreds and sometimes thousands of years, mm -hmm. period, mm -hmm. right? We shouldn't be piping water in from distant aquifers exactly. and treating them with chemicals and using even more energy. We should be using the water that we have available and working within the water balance of our site and giving back to nature. We should be doing this in a construct that is really beautiful and mm -hmm. inspiring for people, which is why we're, you know, the challenge was the first green building program in the world to include beauty mm -hmm. and equity mm -hmm. issues of social justice mm -hmm. as fundamental, not as lesser you know, criteria where mm -hmm. even our, you know, my good friends in the energy field, they get too locked into one issue and, and the understanding that we have to solve all these issues simultaneously we don't optimize a part, we optimize the whole mm -hmm. is part of the, you know, the fundamental philosophy here.